looming over the lives of over 3 million people around the area of Naples. Vesuvius is well known for its eruption in AD 79, burying the town of Pompeii, which we will go to later. New research indicates that the next eruption could be much bigger. Since its last eruption in 1944, the volcano's vent has been plugged. Streams of tourists climb Vesuvius every year, but few actually think about the reservoir of molten rock stored just 10 kilometers beneath the surface. There are now over 1 million people living in Naples at the foot of the Strato volcano. Based on scientific records, there is an interval of about 2,000 years between major eruptions of Vesuvius. The last major Plinian eruption in 79 AD was nearly 2,000 years ago. The next major eruption could threaten Naples. There is an Italian emergency plan revised in 2001, which identifies the Zona Rossa, the red zone, as an area with evacuation priority. 600,000 people live in this area. Predicting volcano is a very imprecise science. Mount St. Helens gave off some signs before its 1980 eruption, but then Mount Ontake in Japan, which erupted in 2013, with no signs, killed 67 hikers on the mountain. Scientists believe that they would have enough time to predict the Vesuvius eruption. The Vesuvius, it seems, is asleep for now. Pompeii was annihilated on the 24th of August 79 AD when Mount Vesuvius, just 10 kilometers behind me, erupted explosively. It sent a fast moving pyroclastic flow down the sides of the volcano. The fatal ash caused buildings to collapse and those inside to suffocate. Until now, it has been widely assumed that most of the victims were asphyxiated by volcanic ash and gas. But a recent study says that most died instantly of extreme heat with many casualties shocked into some sort of rigor mortis. The surge of pyroclastic flow reached temperatures of 300 degrees Celsius. Around three quarters of the known Pompeii victims are almost frozen in suspended actions and show evidence of sudden muscle contractions, like these curled toes. <laughs> are not the effects of long agony, but instead a consequence of heat shock. 